So it's a beautiful Friday morning, 5.30. Goy sets her alarm for 5.15 to come out and do some cooking for the monks. So this is a, this is like a seed pod for one of the local trees. But the outside has a ton of fibers on it. I don't really care for that one. It's it's pretty bitter flavor, but it's and it's to me it's not very good. But um, I yeah, for Kontai they love it, but uh, and it just grows on one of the local trees right around here everywhere. Super cheap. Um, if you buy it at the market, it's super cheap and be good fiber, I guess. But anyway, I woke up at 4 a.m. Why? I don't have any idea. But cats are up getting morning coffee. So today we have to go buy insulation. Have to go probably get a couple outlets while I'm there. And pick out some lights. So it's an early morning, not by design. Goy gets up early to cook and feed the monks, but I just wake up whenever I wake up. So a uh, little bit of sprinkles today. Yeah, been rainy for a couple days. It'll be all right. <laughs> Mosquitoes are crazy. Crazy, crazy. I already had to light a couple coils to keep them off of Goy's feet while she's standing there. <coughs> anyway. As soon as it gets light, I'll show you the progress in here. It's kind of dark even with lights, so. All right, so the guy's got the cement board up there, and that's basically just to close off the critters and help cut down on the noise. We got a void in here. Uh, that'll be filled with insulation. And then uh, we have sheetrock gypsum on the lower so I've got to get all the wires run and and stubbed out all the lights and then uh, should be good to go so get that knocked out here today and tomorrow the boys are coming back on Monday today is Friday so I got the weekend to get this all knocked out that uh, yeah, it did a pretty good job and uh, had uh, material left over because what I asked him um, how he wanted to lay it out, I guess didn't uh, communicate very well. We were going to do 40 centimeter grids, uh, which he put it one way 40 centimeter, but not the other way. So. But it's pretty strong. I, I can, I wouldn't put my whole body weight on it, but I can get up there and hang from it. So it, it's uh, strong enough for what we're doing anyway. So yeah, that's that. And we'll get the, once I get the, uh, all this stuff put in at the right location where it goes and get that figured out, then we'll, move forward all right electrical is complete all the lights are on switches in uh, need to cover that outlet like I did these because they're once they start drywalling get everything a mess and these guys aren't very conscious about that so uh, got some insulation in but trying to do it by myself was pretty difficult and squeezing it up into these spots is going to be tight so uh yeah 
but insulation's gone in a little bit and hopefully that'll make a big difference in heating and cooling or don't heat anything but cooling this space so uh, six inches insulation it's an R38 is what they said on the on the packaging uh, SCG 410 baht per roll oh, it's a little more than 410 it was uh, under 500 let's just say under 500 baht per roll uh, so yeah hopefully it's worth it and Do Home was cheaper than Taiwatsuda and uh, Global House too. So Global House and Taiwatsuda were the same price. This was actually under 500. It was 510 at the uh, at Global House and Taiwatsuda, and this was under 500. So didn't save a lot, but uh, we just were went to Do Home to look at lights. Uh, to see if they had anything different but what we these are little directional lights so they'll be in the ceiling right above the bed so uh, you can kind of aim it to wherever you want these are just area lights so yeah go from here I just I'm gonna disconnect <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm going to disconnect all the lighting uh, when the guys start sheetrocking, but I just wanted them to see what it looks like when uh, uh, before they start work. So, turn everything off. And basically what I did is I did a, a rear set and a front set. So, if you wake up in the morning, you don't have to turn everything on full blast. You can just do a little bit over here, or if I'm working at the desk, I have some light. Leave it at that. Dogs are on a snake. It's in here. Just let them see if they can find it. She just got bit last time I was three weeks ago. I'm surprised she's not leaving snakes well enough alone. Let me put you down, see what I can find. I just don't like them around the house. I don't want to mess with them. We got another one that's a viper, a green tree snake. I don't know what that one was. 
but it doesn't look dangerous. It doesn't have a V-shaped head or anything, but I still don't mess with them. All right, that's the adventure. The dogs are angry. Okay, end of day two. All the rock is in, but it's uh, drying very slow. Super humid here. So, they filled the gaps there, which I'm not sure why they did that. But they didn't do it there, so, uh, I don't know. And then this is steel here, so we just put some drywall in there and then uh, put a lot of filler in there. So that's going to be kind of a mess. You can see the angle right there that they created. But it's not drying at all. It may not dry by tomorrow. But the good thing is maybe it won't crack so bad because it is drying so slow. But they use a little tiny tape. It's like a one inch tape. In America, we would use a three or four inch tape. And this is like three eighths drywall, super cheap. Sorry, I'm eating some fire seeds. <laughs> Apologize for the sound. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, what did it do with my power? Doesn't look so great. But we'll see how they finish. Sometimes they come out good, but like this is why I covered my outlets because they just don't give a shit. <laughs> I have to go back and clean that all up. That's why I covered my outlets. <coughs> uh, yeah. So last project for a bit. Going to Patia to start doing some walking. Uh, going to Patia at the end of the month to visit some friends in Bangkok. So I know I'm going to be walking a lot. So I got to get out and do some steps. But. It's a beautiful day. I'm huffing and puffing though. I'm out of shape, but it's hard for me to walk, so it hurts. See how far we get today. Turn you around. It's a nice temperature, but it's 95% humidity out here, I think. It's hot. Everybody's rice. The hills. Petchaboon over there and Pit Santa Look over there. But this time of year, the sky is nice. Not so much burning. It's a pretty. Pretty day. Airway back over there. Show me a look at something, but it's just more fields, more fields, more fields. Trying to go as quick a pace, two mile, almost three mile an hour pace, so I'm gonna keep that up. The kids, it's just no problem. They say, ah. And their house is way in the village. 
down that way by half a mile. So they're getting some exercise tonight too. She's slow. Say loy loy. Hot, blonde, blonde muck. They're not even sweating. I'm sweating like a pig. And this was a fresh shirt before I started. But it is a beautiful night, the sun. It'll rain all night tonight. I don't understand what she's saying half the time. But it'll probably rain most of the night. This is this time of year. Uh, it'll build up all day. And then rain all night. Last night it rained almost all night long. I didn't get to sleep till 3 a.m. And it was raining hard for two hours and then it uh, just kind of tapered off and steady rain all night long. This is why. And water tables getting up, all the rivers are filled up. So some areas are already having flooding. Over here so far so good, knock on wood. A little row of bananas. All right, let me walk. Well, I'm just gonna kind of record uh, kind of an outro here. Just uh, haven't been doing much of anything. Just been kind of hanging out, trying to save some money. So no projects this week. Um, Got friends coming into Thailand this month, so trying to save up for some traveling. So no big money projects. So uh, been dry for four days. Uh, so I've had to water my grass a little bit, but you can see the ground's already already cracking. If it doesn't rain in four days, it's, it's already starts drying out. So uh, looks like rain today though. But yeah, just kind of quiet. Nothing exciting going on. As you can hear in the background, there's always music coming from somebody. So nobody complains about mine either. Bananas. Uh, we just planted this a month ago, but it's already got a sprout. I doubt we'll get too big of a bunch out of this, but it's going. Well, it's kind of neat to see that uh, go. That tree's going crazy uh, since the rains. Yeah, it's just uh, pretty slow. Uh, not spending any. <laughs> I mean, I have not spent uh, nothing. So, emptying the fridge, emptying the freezer. Uh, Made some hamburgers and some bacon. Saw a recipe for uh, hamburgers wrapped in tortilla. Like a cheeseburger tortilla thing with taco seasoning in the hamburger. It was pretty good. Uh, got some left over for today, so I'll be eating that for tonight. Uh, it's just quiet. Uh, end of this month in September, be moving around a lot. So... I uh, apologize for not putting out any videos. If anybody is a regular watcher, which I don't think anybody is, but uh, if you are, thanks. And uh, family members, uh, miss you guys, and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, anyways, I'll get this, what little bit I got here posted, and put this up because it's been a couple weeks. Uh, and probably be nothing next week but after that we'll start rocking and rolling because we're going to Padia. uh we'll go to I I Ayatea 
Ayutthaya, however you want to say it. Uh, we're planning a trip in to Nan in September. Uh, probably go up to Chiang Mai as well. Uh, Sukhothai. Uh, we'll probably hit over there and up around Pai and stuff if we start getting out and about. But that'll be into September. But we should get back to some normal weekly stuff as we'll have something to report on as uh right now there's nothing <laughs> i have not been leaving the air con all day long because uh, it's been hot and it's been rainy uh except for the last four days and it just got hot so i just kept my butt in watching tv and being lazy as ever can be got the big screen out here one day and but yeah, it's just nothing going on, so no need to bore you guys with uh, videos. So I did come out here yesterday and uh, got me a, a, a cup of coffee yesterday morning. A big giant uh, black scorpion come walking right up behind me. And he's still sitting right there. The ants will take care of him. But if that gives you any idea, he was a pretty big, big dude before I smashed him. But Goy's over there raking and burning. She's been selling her little drinks and hot dogs, so she's making a little extra money. But yeah, it's quiet. It's boring. But all right, that's enough of that. Uh, Thanks everybody for watching. Hoping everybody's doing okay. It was Mother's Day here today. Uh, so it's a holiday on Monday. But we'll get this posted. Everybody take care. And it'll be interesting here in a couple more weeks. Sorry for being so boring. <laughs>